I've been thinking about the word nowhere a lot lately. Webster's Dictionary defines it as follows. Nowhere, the quality or state of being mostly or completely unknown. We dream, we hope, and we plan. We put one foot in front of the other without really knowing where we are going or who we will be when we get there. So tell me about it. Well, I left California and I came back to Kansas and I think I was probably more lost when I came back. And um, because of choices that I had made, I really wasn't any closer to my dream and my relationships weren't really doing all that great either. I really didn't want to come back to Kansas, but I felt like it was the right thing to do. And it started this process where I was just stripped clean of everything. And I started to perform more and more by myself. And when I was alone and it was just me and my guitar and my voice, I started to present the songs and stories differently. And I think that's what helped me find myself. Not just as an artist, but as a person. And then out of nowhere, my dad gets really sick and he dies. And I've spent the last six months asking a lot of questions like, you know, why am I here and what am I even doing anyway? And what is all this for? I called my friend Brian Harden, a record producer and filmmaker from Los Angeles. Anyway, we just got to talking and I had said to him that I wanted to come to Los Angeles to do it and he said, man, you know, it's, I think it'd be a lot cooler if I came to you and we shot like a documentary about life and what it, what it is and dreams and chasing those dreams and trying to become what you want to be and what it's like to lose someone in your life that's real important and just, you know, life. Right now, I'm doing the same thing with my life. Jonathan, you've got a huge heart. You've got great songs. You've got a fantastic voice. The reason you're put here is to, to let all that go and share it with people to help them evolve. Well, right now, the, the person that, with, with all the answers and with all the stories, actually finally has some questions. And the questions you have are common for everybody on the planet when they go through the same thing of losing their father. So you, you've got a unique opportunity right now to share the emotions that you're going through raw. I want to capture that raw on tape while you, while you don't have the answers right now. You're lost and you're confused and you're stressed out beyond belief. And guess what? That's what life is. Real true life for everybody is going through that and still coming out with your head above water. We decided to record the new material and make a documentary about this time in my life. But instead of renting a studio and doing it like we've always done, we decide we should let the moment take us where we ought to go. So with the help of some friends, we record this album in eight different locations all over the state of Kansas, and we film the entire process. In cooperation with nature, we push the limits of our own imagination. We allow the wind, the sun, and the rain to have a voice within the songs themselves. We don't overthink it. We stand outside in the elements and the band just plays. We record the songs live and we keep the best take. And the results have been remarkable. Black Mountain, North Carolina. 
That is where our story takes place. And I'm sitting on the porch of this uh, coffee shop. It's basically a house that's been converted. And this old man has a pack of cigarettes and a cup of coffee, and I'm just sitting there minding my own business, M-Y-O-B, as they say. And uh, he says to me, uh, well, let's get into it, bro. And I'm like, excuse me? He's like, let's get into it, man. I said, get into what? I thought I was sitting in his chair or something, right? And he says, uh, no, man, I like to talk, and I can tell you like to talk, and you obviously have a lot to say, so I'll go first. And he just sits down, and for the next four hours, we have this, this conversation about nothing and everything all at once. And I went home and pinned down the words to the song, and that's, how, that's where it came from. The wisdom of a man, probably 30 years my senior, maybe more. Actually, he's probably a lot younger than he looked. Clean living. So anyway, the song's called Traveling. You can barely see your feet On the road you are traveling Wasting all your time Looking for a sign that never comes Asking how and why To every passerby you encounter Only to find No one's any lighter than you are of my life have been those times when I just really believed in myself and I put faith in the world around me. You got the life, dude. One way or another, it always works out. This right here is what what runs. This runs. And then, and this is running. There's gas and it's back there, but it's coming up here somehow. (laughs) And it makes the wheel spin. And then you push and pedals and stuff and it goes down the road. (laughs) Bill Hicks said it best. Life is just a ride, and we can change it any time we want. It really is just a choice. It's a choice between love and fear. 
My dad was a pastor, and that's what I thought that I wanted to do, and I was following in his footsteps, and I was going to school to be a pastor. I was living in Wichita, and I was working for a gas station chain, and it just, you know, my life wasn't exactly what I was wanting. And one night, I was out sweeping up the parking lot, and I literally got on my hands and knees. And I'm like, God, like, I need something to get me through this life. That's all I said, you know, amen. And I got up, and six months later, I'm living in California. And all I can really say about it is, there are moments in your life that can only be described as before this moment and after this moment. And that was one of those times. And my life's never been the same since that moment. And I wouldn't change a thing. It's what has caused me to be in this place doing what I'm doing now. And I'm still following in my dad's footsteps. I'm just doing it in a completely different way. No going backwards and the sides are no good. I refuse to do those things that I know I should. But I lost my marble when I went out to sea. Now I'm not sure if I will ever be me Following pipe Following dreams pie. Chasing my tail Smoking them roll your owns And feeling like hell This is California, man. <laughs> to each his own, right? He might end up in hell. I really thought I was supposed to come out to California and that it was all about trying to be a musician and get a career going. And I look back now and I realize that it was, it was really about trying to figure out who I wanted to be as a person. Really didn't have much to do with music at all. Although I gained a lot of experience. It was really more about working on the spiritual self and just realizing some things about life. And I learned a lot while I was here. I heard no screaming as the layers fell away. The times in revealing your year of secret pain You are so strong That's what I saw about you You know, California kind of showed me the whole, the whole gamut. I mean, at one point I was living in a tent in my friend's yard. It was a great experience, but it was probably the loneliest time of my life. An onion peeling won't be feeling any pain. But you are revealing that you do not feel the same. But you are so strong. That's what I saw about you. It's not supposed to feel this way and you know I can't say anything And now you know I'm feeling bad Cause you deserve
deserve much more than that. Your time for peeling will soon come to an end, and as you're healing, you will learn to start again. And you'll move on. You're so strong That's what I saw about you But it was time to go home. You know, it was time to go back to Kansas. I had figured some things out. And I needed to heal. And I didn't really feel like I could heal out here, so I had to go home to do that. I learned that the reason I want to do music and the reason I want to play music is because it helps people and it builds people up. And in the process, I was helping myself and building myself up. And that's why it's so important that I'm doing what I'm doing. What's the best day of your life? Jeez. It's funny because it's, it's the one and only time I've ever been fired from a job. I was hanging out with Samaria and I had more or less, like we had just kind of gotten together, you know? You know how it is when you're just totally like in love with someone, you'd like, your brain shuts off and you do just stupid shit. You'd do anything, you know? And all you can think about is how much you want to be with that person all the time. And there's this day that we were hanging out, man, and we weren't doing anything. We were just hanging out. <clears throat> and I had to go to work at like five. And I wanted to be with her so bad that I called into work and like lied about what was going on. And I totally got caught in this lie. Like I didn't care, you know? So I got to hang out with Samaria. And you know, that's... Being in love with someone, you know, like, like, I'm not talking about, like, I'm in love with her now, but you know what I mean? The first moments of being in love, those are some of the greatest, that's the greatest feeling in the world. It's pretty easy to lose touch with the people that matter and the people that are around you. You know, all that combined with the, the normal ups and downs of being married, it had created an environment that my wife, uh, she was really questioning whether or not she still wanted to be married. I'm not a very good listener. And she has a hard time expressing herself. And that can make for a pretty bad combination. I, see, my wife and I, you know, we just celebrated 10 years of marriage. And, yeah, double digits, dude. And we've been through it all, you know. And yeah, I'm sure. we were sitting on the back porch here at this house we live in, and I thought it was over. Like, I thought she was done. And I said to her, I said, you know, here's the thing, Samaria. I love you, and I've always loved you, and I, I want you to be in my life. And that's the best I can hope for that I, I want you to be in my life. I said, well, here's the thing, man. This is what I've realized. I can't make you happy. Your happiness oh. has nothing to do with me. And furthermore, as bad as I want you in my life, I don't need you in my life. If you decide this isn't what you want to do anymore and you leave, I'll figure it out. I'll be fine. I'll get over it. 
I said, and the true and the same is true for you. You don't need me in your life. The best I can hope for is that you want me in your life. But I yeah. but you don't you can't make me happy. That's not how it works. No. Nobody can make you happy, man. And that Except when you. I well, when I came to that realization, I realized that it applied to every arena of my life. that I don't well now would be the time to tell me cause I don't know which way to go and I don't want you to leave without me no I don't want you to leave without me I know that you're tired of the road you're on and you need to make a change for your sake, I hope it doesn't take too long For you to find your way And you need to find your way And if you want something that I don't well, now would be the time to tell me Cause I'll find a way to get along If you would rather be without me But I don't want you to leave without me I know that you're tired of the road we're on And you're needing me to change for your sake, I hope it doesn't take too long For me to find my way And I need to find my way You've been so patient been weak And there's so many things you need to say If you could find words to speak is not working. I choose to change. I choose to surround myself with loving, caring people who will speak the truth to me even when it is hard to hear. But at the end of the day, I have to be able to live with myself. If I am not happy, it is my responsibility to fix that. No one can live my life for me. I'm really grateful to my wife because she has believed and seen something in me way before I was ready to believe or see it in myself. I learned that I'm willing to do anything, pretty much. I'll work anywhere, I'll do what I have to do to follow my heart and to follow my dreams. 
Samaria was working like four jobs at once, and I was working at two different places full time to keep a roof over our head in California, and it was worth it because we were doing it. We were we were living our dream. Sometimes it's not about what you want to do, it's about what are you willing to do. My dad used to say, you have to do what you have to do if you want to do what you want to do. Well, I did what I had to do. You beg, steal, or borrow. Giddy up, you make it happen. You figure it out. And that, that was kind of when I decided, like, there's no such thing as making it. There's also no such thing as failing at it. You just keep doing what you're doing and you see what happens. You know? It's important. You just keep doing what you what you do, what you love to do. I know that's cliche, but how many people give up? Most people give up. They say it's too hard, I can't do this, nothing's happening. You gotta keep doing what you do. So this business, there's a lot of uh, perceived failure. It takes a long time to kind of make something out of nothing. And I guess everybody feels like that from time to time, that what they're doing isn't working and that they're, they're going nowhere, whether it be in their life or their career or their relationships. And sometimes people lose faith in you and sometimes you lose faith in yourself. And I, I had a friend who was going through some things of his own and, and kind of took it out on me a little bit. And, you know, he, he straight up said to me that I was going nowhere and that I was behind the times. And I remember it really bothered me, it really hurt my feelings. And I, I sat down and I pretty much penned the words, I've got to free myself from you. And, and I realized that it had more to do with freeing myself from an old idea of me. Like I was never gonna, I was never gonna move forward until I let go of the past. And since I don't know where the road leads, I kind of see it as a road to nowhere. One, two, three, four. I fear I'm getting nowhere It's safe to say that I make most things Harder than they are My only hope is that someday soon I will find a way to break through All the broken pieces To a life I've never known But at least I'm trying And it's more than most will do but I gotta free myself from you I've been hiding Cause I don't wanna face no truth But I gotta free myself from you Pretty sure most people feel alone. I wanna see your point of view, but I get the feeling it's been skewed by a lot of different things that make it the best of you. At least I'm trying, and that's more than most will do. But I gotta free myself from you. But I gotta free myself from you I 
feel broken When all's been said and done Every word I've spoken So been said in love So been said in love die you know and I didn't even know what was wrong with him I don't know why my brain just went to like you're gonna die but you know and his response was I'm gonna live till I die man that's just how it is and you know we found out he had the brain tumor and all that his response cause like cause we had to tell him you have a brain tumor uh, uh, a thousand times. He kept forgetting what was wrong because his brain tumor was messing with his memory. So he'd ask, so what's wrong with me again? Well, dude, you have a brain tumor, you know? And he'd say, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm gonna live till I die. Yeah. My biggest fear is that he died not knowing what I truly thought of him. So I wrote the lines, made the mistake of wasting many days, and I wish I could somehow change it, but I know I can't. I hope the things I tried to say to you were understood. To see you one more time, how that would ease my mind. To see him one more time in his wellness, and to say, dude, I'm sorry. And so we're driving. All these songs are about him. Every song's got a line about him. Is he aware of that? This is the beautiful part. You know how he says to you, I'm sorry, son, and you just got something from that. Yeah. You knew what he was trying to say. Yeah. We're driving, we're listening to Pipe Dreams. It says, I am done. I ain't blaming you. And I'm over being angry too. And I reach over and I grab his leg and I said, man, I'm so sorry I was so hard on you. Yeah. And he says, it's okay. Yeah. He says, I'm really sorry too. Because I just didn't, I just didn't understand. March 15th, 2013, saddest day of my life. Pops died. That's what this song's about. You're another thing that won't turn out the way that I thought it should. It is what it is, man. That's all you kept saying You know I tried to break for many things And it did no good Cause you're not here and That makes me sad I go about my days in the same old ways As if I could Not a single one goes by Where you don't cross my mind And I don't understand why this had to happen. No, I don't understand why this had to happen. You're 
Another thing that won't turn out the way that I thought it should It is what it is, man It's all you kept saying Made the mistake of wasting many days And I wish I could somehow change it But I know I can't I hope the things I tried to say to you were understood To see you one more time well, That would ease my mind And I don't understand Why this had to happen closer to a closing door of opportunity. The opportunity to make it right, to let it go, to say thank you and to say goodbye, that's a limited time offer. I had to say thank you and goodbye before I was ready. It is what it is, man. I'm so thankful that I got and took the opportunity. <sighs> I gotta believe somewhere on a soul level, we're more than just our brain. On a soul level, man, he got it, he understood. I was just being a, a little brat, you know? He always used to say, man, you'll always be my son. You'll always be my son. And you know what? He's gone, but I'm still his son. He's still my father. I hear people all the time, well, he was this, he was that. No, he is. He is my father. I am his son. You cannot, death cannot take that away from me. That's all we have is our connections and our relationships. No, you know, it really does feel like God is helping us make this movie. The conditions that have been provided, these little bitty windows of opportunity, you seize them or they go by. You know I'm never gonna be the same after this experience, right? You're already not the same. There was a song that I had written about my dad that I said I wanted to pick a day that was overcast. And anyway, this storm came through Kansas. You can see it's raining. You can see that street. We're driving into a crazy storm, I bet. 
you can see over there, it is pouring down rain. Isn't everybody always driving into a crazy storm? Huh. It's just part of life. I knew about this this little church that sits on this hill all by itself and there's nothing around it. It's just beautiful and it's been there since the early 1800s. And when we got there, the sky above us looked like hell and then you could see off to the sunset that it was clearing up and so there was this spot where the sun dips down below the clouds. And Anyway, in about three and a half minutes, we set up a mobile recording studio and uh, like three or four cameras and we shot this song and it, it was just amazing like uh, right before I start the first verse like this huge roll of thunder it just starts pouring on us we're standing out in the rain but it was just real and we ended up he fried his laptop we fried part of his board we fried a camera or two and I'm like dude I'm sorry, you know, and he's like, I'm not. This is like some of the best footage I've ever taken in my life. I could hear your pain when you were calling I would hear my name and I'd come running You were so afraid and I Feel your pain I will not forget Your suffering Cause I, I will not let That memory fade So brave, and I was so free. Life is not the same since you departed. And I, I will feel that pain in different ways but you still remain and I will be okay I will not forget things you taught me I I will not live that memory fade me a man you made and I will be okay I will be okay. And we're all just kind of left here. Missing him. But when the pain comes, you have to just let it in. And you have to feel it.
I think that's how you grow and you get stronger. But I owe that guy so much. I'd give anything just for another day or I really thought he was going to get better. It's just one more thing that I don't, you know, I don't get a say in, I don't control that. But it was sure an honor to be there for him when he needed me there. I was in this small town that I'd grown up in and I was just driving around to, you know, my old stomping grounds places that were familiar to me but that I hadn't seen in a really long time. So I just start thinking about how every turn holds a memory in this town I used to know. And life goes by as it ought to. You turn from young to old. And it's amazing how it's not just your body, you know, that gets, that gets older, your perception gets older. And, uh, you know, obviously that led to how each day is just flying by so fast. The older you get, it seems like time goes by a lot faster. And so I just started thinking about how it really bothers me how there's no stopping. There's no stopping it. It just keeps going. It's just passing. You know, and then obviously that led me to very soon I will pass away. I mean, it'll be a blink of an eye when you think about it in terms of time. The earth has been here millions of years. I mean, who knows how long. I just want to make the most of it. I feel like I spent a lot of my life wasted. Like, I've, I've not made the most of every situation. I've let a lot of stuff just kind of go by. I don't want to waste any more time. Every turn was a memory in this town I used to know. Life goes by as it ought to. From young to oh, 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 yesterday is a memory that I barely got to hold. Days go by as they are to learn to live. Sometimes it bothers me How there's no stopping Sometimes it bothers me How there's no stopping Very soon I'll be passing Like a storm cloud roll change as they are to turn from warm to cold sometimes it bothers me 
Now there's no stopping Sometimes it bothers me How there's no stopping constant. The world around us never stops. It never sleeps. The sun rises and the sun sets, but each day is different. Your life is just a moment and then it's gone. I feel like I'm, I'm in the same boat as most people. They spend their whole life saying they're going to do this and saying they're going to do that. They have all these dreams and they don't have the stones to make them happen. And I'll be damned, if, if my dreams don't come true, that's fine. But I'll be damned if it's because I didn't try. I've, I've worked the nine to five, I've worked the factory, I've worked the third shift, I've worked the gas station, I've worked the manufacturing job, I've worked them all, I've done it all. And how I felt every day was, is this it? I get up, I come do this for eight hours, and then I go home to barely get by. Is that, is that living? Is that life? Is this it? Is this all I get? Fourth of July and Christmas and the company picnic. To me, that feels like just waiting to die. And I've heard it said, you get busy living or you get busy dying. And I think a lot of people have resigned themselves that their dreams are not worth following. And I just figure if I'm gonna barely get by, then I'm gonna barely get by doing something I really enjoy.
I'm living in a town called nothing. I really wanna move away. All my life I've been saying I'll do something. Now I'm waiting for the end to come. All my life I've been saying I'll do something. Now I'm waiting for the end to come. What am I waiting for? Why do I waste so much time? If I'm waiting for conditions to be perfect, I can stop waiting. We've spent the last month working on this project, and we encourage each other and say, Everything is perfect, even when it's not. You just have to do your best and don't judge. There have been days we talk about a lot of stuff. And then there's days we go out and do a lot of stuff. It is when we went out to do that magic showed up for us. Less talking plus more doing equals more magic. Sounds pretty simple to me. I was touring again. I'd done a lot of solo stuff, and then I decided I was gonna take a band to New Mexico and Colorado, and it was just another instance where it just didn't turn out the way I'd hoped, and I lost money, and I lost face, and I came home just kind of defeated and just ready to hang it up. And of course, my wife stepped in like she always does and encouraged me not to give up and to just keep going. She really believes that if I keep pushing, I'm gonna make it somehow. I think I'm starting to believe that too. didn't turn out the way I saw it in my head Not ready to throw in the towel or give up just yet I never said I thought it would be easy I guess I don't know what I thought But I know I've paid with all these mistakes For the lessons that I bought I've been unhappy before And I know that it'll pass These feelings come on so strong But they never last I don't know how to shake it but I know I'll make it Somehow Somehow to learn how to live outside of my own head I've had my fair share of being down and full of regret I never said I thought it would be easy but I finally know what I want to live in a place of genuine thanks for everything I've got and I've been unhappy before and I know that it'll pass these feelings come on so 
so strong, but they never last. Shake it, but I know I'll make it somehow, somehow. Sometimes things don't turn out the way we think they're going to. I think I think too much. Expectations can really rob us of that joy that's found in every moment. I once heard it said, regret stems from the thought that the past could somehow be different. We make choices and life unfolds. I should be thankful for every aspect of my life, the good and the bad. I mean, after all, isn't the point to learn something while I'm here? I feel like if I learn something, then I can change. And if I change, then I'll grow. So I started thinking about the symbolism of baptism. That idea of being washed and reborn and getting a chance to start over. I've had to start over so many times in my life. I think that we all want atonement for things in our lives. We've all said and done things that we wish we could take back and that's what baptism is about is a renewal or a rebirth. I think it's something that you kind of have to do every day in your heart.
I love the idea of the clean slate, you know, starting over. For me, forgiveness is often that starting point. Forgiving myself will allow me to forgive others. You can't make it in this world without forgiveness. And I was staring into the sunset and it really, in that moment, dawned on me that everything on the planet, the only way it survives is if that sun survives. And I began to realize, like, we're all made up of the same thing. We're all the same thing. And someday we'll go back to that. Came here from the sun, came here from the sun That is where I'm going when all my work is done Came here from the sun, came here from the sun That is where I'm going when all my work is done And I'm telling everyone, telling everyone That is where I'm going all my work is done and came here from the sun came here from the sun and that is where i'm going when all my work is done and i came here from the sun i came here from the sun that is where i'm going when all my work is done and came here from the sun and i came here from the sun and Nowhere is defined as the quality or state of being mostly or completely unknown. If I had only known then what I know now, hindsight is always 2020. Boy, I sure didn't see that coming. These are expressions we hear almost every single day. But the word nowhere is made up of two words, now and here. Dwelling on the past or worrying about the future is the great distraction. What do I know right now? How well do I see the present moment? What is here is more important than what is coming. I am thankful that I am now here. I'm grateful for all that was, all that is, and all that will be, even if it does have the quality or state of being mostly or completely unknown. your head up high you're going home and you'll be glad when you were there all the lovely face 
faces in familiar places that you know Cherishing the time you won't feel alone Like a bridegroom with no bride Giving up the chases and the worn out places that you know We all have to, we don't choose to We all go through the same feud in our minds And don't you ever assume we don't miss you Cause you know we do All the lovely faces and familiar places that you know Hold your head up high, don't be ashamed for all the things that you've become. You're a lovely man, we don't judge you. And don't you ever assume we don't miss you, cause you know we do. All the lovely faces and familiar places that you know. You know All the lovely faces and familiar places that you know I think these are really common stories about life and, and struggling and getting up when you've been knocked down, facing your fears just going for it, no matter what life throws at you, because that's life. I never really thought that my story was that incredible until I started to realize that it's everybody's story. And that is something incredible. And I really hope that as I expose what I'm afraid of and I expose what I am looking for in this life, and as I start to learn some lessons and figure some things out, maybe it'll help other people answer their own questions about who they are and why they're here. Good luck.